I'll do y'all one more song here, and we're going to get serious here for a minute now, daggone it. That's a nice breeze they got going through here, ain't it? Oh, that's that fan he's got down there. Is that a country music fan, Chris? I believe it is, ain't it? Apparently, me too. I hope I got enough left to do this song. Kind of bloated out on that last masterpiece there, you know. I want to thank y'all for coming out. Mark Pascarage has been the greatest. He's, he's a class A number one guy right there now. Don't be lucky behind you. You know who we're talking about. He's got him. He's got his tripod going up here, and he's filming this. And, and, and then in about a month, he'll I'll get a blackmail letter in the mail. You know, and he'll say, if you don't do a free show for us, we're gonna put this on YouTube or something. He's pretty good at all that computer stuff. So. We'll do this song for Keith over here. <clears throat> Keith went over to New York City after 9-11 in 16 months, right? 16 days. Well, that's long enough over there in that mess, I'll tell you what. Him and his uh, team went over and, and helped him clean up over And uh, I wrote this song with my buddy Daryl Worley. And it, was, uh, it was something. It was something to, to be a part of... Uh, that whole thing, we just wrote it because we was pissed off and everybody act like they forgot about it, you know. And, but them guys did all the work and the soldiers and the, and the firemen and policemen in New York. I mean, they had, everybody got to carry on, you know, in this country. And I, I couldn't believe it. After Pearl Harbor, my daddy talked about Pearl Harbor for 50 years. And then people forgot about 9-11 in a year and a half, you know. It just kind of rubbed me the wrong way, so... A lot of people did, not everybody. But anyway, that's what this is about. Keith. I hear people say we don't need this war. But I say there's some things worth fighting for. What about our freedom? This piece of ground We didn't get to keep them By backing down They say we don't realize The mess we're getting in Before you start your preaching Let me ask you this, my friend Have you forgotten How it felt that day to see your homeland under fire and their people blown away. Have you forgotten when those towers fell? We had neighbors still inside going through a living hell. And you say we shouldn't worry about Bin Laden. Have you forgotten? Thank you. Thank you. They took all the footage off of my TV. They say it's too disturbing for you and me. It'll just breed anger. That's what the experts say. If it was up to me, I'd show it every day. Some say this country's just out looking for a fight After 9-11, well, I'd have to say that's right Have you forgotten how it felt that day To see your homeland under fire And your people blown away Have you forgotten when those towers fell We had neighbors still inside Going through a living hell And we bow to get the ones behind Bin Laden Have you forgotten? I 
I've been there with the soldiers who have gone away to war. And you can bet that they remember just what they're fighting for. Have you forgotten all the people killed? Yes, some went down like heroes in that Pennsylvania field. Have you forgotten about our Pentagon? All the loved ones that we lost and those left to carry on. Don't you tell me not to worry about Bin Laden. Have you forgotten? Have you forgotten? Have you forgotten? Thank y'all. Appreciate it. Chris will be right back up here. That's for Keith over here and his team.